guys, it's the Macintosh Guide and I'm back again with a brand new video. Now, in this week's video, we're going to be downgrading this 2022, bear in mind that's very important, 2022 Asus Zephyrus G15 machine down to Windows 10. Now, this machine, as mentioned, came out last year. So this is after Windows 11 has been alive for around, what, two years now we're talking about since it's, um, since it's release. Now, Windows 10 technically shouldn't be supported in this machine. However, it is. So I wanted to downgrade this machine back to Windows 10 and reap the benefits because Windows 11, guys, just isn't that stable for me on manufactured laptops. I, it is absolutely fine on my gaming PC, but it is not fine on any manufactured laptops. It doesn't matter what. It's funny though, but on my MacBooks, when I run it through Parallels Desktop, it runs like it's the best. So guys, sit back, relax, and I'll show you how to get that done. Now, to be able to downgrade this machine back to Windows 10, or well, install Windows 10 on a Windows machine, such as my laptop here, you will need obviously the laptop itself and you shall also need a at least a 16 gigabyte usb stick in this instance i've got a 64 gig usb stick that i used in my last video to install tales os so that is, that's all you're going to need what you then need to do is you need to head over to microsoft's website and download the windows installation media now this will help create a bootable Windows 10 uh, installation for us. So all we need to do is click on download now and you shall see that it has already downloaded for us the media creation tool. All you then need to do is click on the media creation tool, press yes, wait until it opens up and we can minimize this in the back and it will say getting a few things ready. In the meantime, you can plug in your USB stick into the laptop. So just plug in the USB stick into the laptop and you can see it's already showing up. After I've opened it up, let's just close the USB drive and it says applicable notices and license in terms. In this instance, we of course just press accept. Now it is saying it's getting a few things ready. Um, again, I'm sorry guys, it's there's not much I can do. The camera does not like the screen of my Zephyrus laptop. So just bear with me. I'm trying my best. So let me bring my laptop closer so you guys can let me see a bit better. It is now saying, what do you want to do? So what we want to do is create a media installation tool. Click next, and it's already identified our settings. Click next, and we want to create a USB flash drive. Click next, and then you shall see the USB stick. Now it'll be named different for you because your USB sticks differ, but in my instance, it's this one, and then I click next. And then guys, you just let it download Windows 10 and it will a bootable drive for you so it's that very it's that simple to create the bootable drive So guys, you now see that the USB flash drive is ready. All we need to now do is just click on finish and it will say the setup is cleaning up a few things and boom, the screen is now disappeared. So now we have a bootable USB of Windows 10. All we now need to do, and I'm gonna put the machine back just slightly, is we're going to now get the machine into Windows 10 installer. So the way to do this is you click on the Windows key, you click on the power button, and then you hold shift and press restart and you'll see a please wait screen. Just keep holding it. It'll take a while, you'll see the 
in my instance, we're going to see the Acer Sephiroth uh, logo in a second. So let's just wait. And guys, I also recommend keep your machine plugged into the power source. It is very vital in case you run out of power for while you're going through the installation phase. So now that we're in to the troubleshoot shooting phase, all we need to do is click a click on user device and click on removable device. And this will start booting us into Windows 10 boot up menu. So let's just give it a second and see the Republic of Gamers logo has come through. And let's just keep playing it. So we now see the Windows icon. And we're now at the Windows installation screen, guys. So you can see when it's already recognized United Kingdom as we showed this earlier. Click on next, click on install now. And let's just wait for the setup to finish. Starting up. And we, of course, accept the licensing. Click next. We're going to be doing custom in this instance because we only want to install Windows. And you can see that my Drive Zero Partition 3 is my main OS. So what I need to do is I need to format this and click OK. And now you see it's now my primary and it's also free. All we now need to do is click next on that. And Windows will start installing the files. So let's just let that roll. So guys, as you probably saw, I didn't touch the machine at all during this installation process. It automatically detected which operating system I wanted to choose. It chose Windows 10. And now you can see it, it went through the installation process without a fail. And now we're on the setup screen for Windows 10. So let me now quickly set up Windows 10. And then I will give you my final verdict of how easy this is to do. As you can see guys, that was just standard Windows 10 setup phase. I preferred that because you had the ability to not have to sign with a Microsoft account. There are ways around it, but Microsoft really, really want you to use a Microsoft account going forward. I feel like it's just not the way. It doesn't help any IT admins anywhere. Um, it, it's just too much data collection going on. And I just don't think Microsoft are thinking the bigger scale here that people don't want to give their data out. Um, it's just hungry companies, and that's what it is. Um, but as you can tell, it's just currently going through the setup phase. Um, and we hope that it's going to be done in the next couple of seconds. Um, but already the machine is far more responsive. Bear in mind, this, came, I got, this machine is a 2022 model. How on earth is this so laggy when windows 11 it just doesn't make any sense guys but look there you go we're now booted in to windows 11 guys uh, windows 10 sorry guys windows 10 far more responsive than it was and guys this machine is fully specced out let me show you about your pc it's got a ryzen 7 6800hs it has a 16 gigabyte rams installed in this bear in mind i believe this is soldered so i can't even add any additional ram if i wanted to it has a terabyte storage it has uh, a rtx 3080 there is no reason for this machine to be struggling um and the windows 11 so yeah it's just not been a pleasant experience my gaming pc windows 11 runs absolutely fine so yeah and look guys we've got everything installed which is brilliant um and then it should just be a simple matter of me connecting to the internet and it will automatically pull all the drivers across with no issues. So one issue I did run into in the, which was the only issue so far is for some reason I couldn't connect Wi-Fi. It just didn't show me any options. But the way I was able to go around it, as you can tell, I was able to plug in my USB-C dock, get the cable from my PlayStation 5 and my ethernet cable and plug it into the USB-C adapter and boom, and connect to the internet. This way, it's going to pull up all the drivers from Asus, uh, which is the including the Wi-Fi driver, 
and then this will allow me to go on the internet without any issues as you can tell guys there's loads of updates in here there's several there's several several updates which is including wi-fi chip upgrades as well so yeah guys that's how we're going to be able to get all the drivers and support and wi-fi should be functioning without a problem so let me go through all the updates and then i will come back just to give you an update while i was installing drivers guys i click on the internet option and i can already see a lot of the wi-fi networks coming in so that seems to have fixed the problem so guys what do i think about windows 10 installation on a machine that pre-installed windows 11 well it's very quick and easy it's not that difficult to do as you saw in the steps it's more the case of you need about an hour maximum to, to do this now this is very easy on the asus rog 2022 zephyrus model um Whereas it might be a bit more complicated than other machines. Uh, I highly suggest that if you're sick and tired of Windows 11 like I am, Windows 10 will still be supported for another couple of years, I believe. So you shouldn't see any issues. And plus, compatibility with Windows 10 is far more higher than it is with Windows 11. Windows 11 looks brilliant, but if you've got Mac OS, you're not going to see anything different. Um, I do love the Windows management inside Windows 11, which is great. But I don't like the matter of, oh, I need to sign up sign in with a windows account unless uh, with a microsoft account unless i actually go through like a glitch system where it you, have, you go past the ethernet screen and yeah it's it's just a bit of a nightmare um and it, it's just more smooth like everything works it's it's more responsive um the background keyboard works the volume works everything works out of the box i'm going to do some gaming tests on it later off camera just to make sure everything's working but guys it's, it's just outstandingly so much better all my drivers installed straight out of the box um so yeah i i would suggest using windows 10 on the zephyrus g15 2022 model instead of windows 11 so guys if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one